Good day guys, it's Slack here and in this video we'll be going over the step-by-step -step process on how to buy as well as sell NFTs using the OpenSea platform. This is a perfect tutorial for a complete beginner as I will be taking you from the start all the way till the end. By the end of this video you'll know everything about OpenSea platform and how you can use it to make money. Now let's get into the value. So as you guys can see now we're currently on the homepage for OpenSea. The URL for this is OpenSea.io. So now I'll go ahead and show you my exact process on how I find different cool NFT projects. You go on stats and you go on rankings. So as you can see, this is basically the list of the top NFTs on the OpenSea platform ranked on their volume, their floor price and other statistics. So as per the time I'm recording this video, Mecha vs NFT collection which has gone viral as this was released only a couple of days ago and it's got a floor price of 7.98 Ethereum already. So as you can see, this is basically a list for you guys to look through and basically see what are the different kinds of projects which are currently popping up. So over here you can actually go ahead and select projects on different blockchains as well. So let's go ahead and check for top projects on the Polygon network. So as you can see, Zedron is the number one collection on the Polygon chain and these are the other top tens or top 20 so so this is a great tool for you guys to check out when you're researching for different nft projects but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be focusing on ethereum nfts as they're far more popular in the market right now so another great tool you guys should be using when you're doing your research on OpenSea is by going ahead and clicking on stats and clicking on activity so as you can see this brings up the list of the most recent transactions which are happening on the OpenSea platform as you can see this transaction occurred 37 seconds before so these are basically all the nfts which are being sold right now and as you can see this is basically the price which they were sold for so what i would recommend each and every single one of you to do is go through this activity list and look for nft collections and projects which are being sold quite often and quite rapidly which basically means there's a high demand for that project and for that specific collection so make sure you guys do all of this due diligence before you buy your first nft so now let's just say that you have an NFT project in your mind and you want to further investigate into it. So I'll show you how you can look into further details about a collection. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's look into the Board Ape Your Club. So if you guys don't know already, Board Ape Your Club is one of the most popular NFT collections and it is also considered as a blue chip NFT collection. So as you guys can see, we're on the homepage for this specific NFT collection. First thing you guys should be looking into is to actually go ahead and click on the website for this specific NFT collection. As you guys can see, BayYC has a fully operational website. You should also be checking out an NFT collections Discord community even before purchasing it and look for its activity on Twitter as well as Instagram. So these links are always there for you guys to look into. So as you guys can see, this collection has 5.6K owners. So what that basically means is there are 5,600 people who own one of the following apes. And now let's take a look at the floor price. As you guys can see, the floor price right now is 38.6 Ethereum. So what the floor price basically means is that the lowest price someone is willing to sell their NFT within this collection. And as you guys can see, over 182,000 Ethereum has been traded within this collection. So now let's take a look at the different apes which are being sold. For so you go ahead and click on buy now. This will bring up the list of all the apes which are being sold right now. The very first one, the price for this is the 38.6, which is basically the cheapest and it correlates with the floor price over here. So let's just go ahead and click on this specific NFT. As you can see, if you have 38.6 ETH, you can actually go ahead and buy it right now. This is basically a pricing history. This basically shows you the graph on the price history of this exact NFT over the last few months. And as you can see, the prices have already gone down and this shows you the sales which occurred for this pack. Now, if you guys can see, this NFT even has some offers. So someone has already offered 35.25 WE, which is basically wrapped Ethereum, which is basically same as Ethereum. And someone has even offered 33. So this was done two hours. And you can see who those offers are from. Now, if you scroll down, you can even check out the trading history for this specific NFT. As you guys can see, this was sold for 36 Ethereum two days ago. In the past, a month ago, it was sold for 41.4 ETH. And once you scroll down, you can see this NFT was sold for only 0.35 ETH five months ago. So another great thing about the OpenSea platform is you can actually go ahead and see the whole trading history for the NFT you're looking to buy. So now let's just say that you have gone ahead and done all your due diligence on different NFT projects and you know the NFT which you want to buy. So to buy your NFT, you'll actually need to go ahead and create a MetaMask wallet which will need to have some Ethereum in it. So if you don't already have a MetaMask wallet, I'll put a link for my video on how to go ahead and create a MetaMask wallet and how to top it up with some Ethereum. 
So let's just say that you have a MetaMask wallet. What you need to do next is go ahead and click over here and you can go ahead and collect your MetaMask wallet over here. There are other wallet options for you guys to choose from, but I would still recommend you to go ahead with MetaMask as it is the most popular one. So as you guys can see, my MetaMask wallet was automatically connected to my OpenSea account for a balance of 0.2 Ethereum in my wallet. So now that your MetaMask wallet is connected with your OpenSea account, now let's go ahead and actually purchase that NFT. So type in the name of the NFT which you want to buy. For the purpose of this video, let's just say I want to buy one of these magic mushrooms. Click on buy now. Let's just say click on this one. As you guys can see, now we are presented with two options. Either you can just buy it directly for 0.155 ETH or you can actually go ahead and make an offer. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just go ahead and click on buy now. And as you guys can see, onto this confirmation complete checkout page, what you guys can do is actually go ahead and click on tick over here and finally click on the checkout option. As I won't be buying this NFT, I'll go ahead and just click on cross. But I'm pretty sure you guys got the gist of what all you need to do before you buy your first NFT and how to actually go ahead and process that transaction. So if you guys have actually found this video useful this far, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So now let's just say that you're going to sell your own NFT. I'll show you what all you need to do for that. Firstly, go ahead and click on create on the top. You can see a signature request would pop up over here. You go ahead and click on sign. This is the page which you are brought onto. This is basically where you go ahead and put in all the details for the NFT which you want to sell. The first thing you guys need to do is actually go ahead and upload the media which you want to put in your NFT. So I'll go ahead and upload my image. Go on ahead and uploaded my NFT image. So now let's go ahead and name this NFT. For the purpose of this video, I'll just name it as Test Black Tube. NFT. But over here, just put down the name of your NFT can see with OpenSea you have an option to put an external link with your NFT so this can be the link to your personal website or anything you want so for the purpose of the tutorial I'll keep it as blank and now you can actually go ahead and put in some description about your NFT so in my description I'll just put something like smash the like button if you haven't already now let's go ahead and scroll down as you guys can see this option to place this NFT in any one of your collections or you can even go ahead and put some properties for your specific NFTs. So it's a complete NFT collection. You can even have different properties and different traits, which separates all these kinds of NFTs. You can even put in different kinds of levels and you can even put in, you know, different numerical traits through this option of statistics. This unlockable content is basically special information, which the owner of NFT will get to have once they purchase the NFT. And finally, if the content is explicit and sensitive, you can go on and turn on this button over here, but let's just leave it off. And as you guys can see, we are brought onto this option where we go ahead and select the blockchain, which you want to choose. You have an option to choose from Ethereum blockchain, or you can even choose Polygon blockchain. So if you guys don't already know, Polygon Matic is a different cryptocurrency altogether. With Polygon, there is no gas fee, which is basically a transaction fee, which you have to pay when you list your NFT on the platform. But I would still recommend you guys to choose for Ethereum blockchain as it is the most popular blockchain currently for NFTs. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just keep it as it is and go ahead and click on create. And as you guys can see, we have gone ahead and officially created our test Lactube NFT. Perfect. Now that you have gone ahead and created your first NFT, you have two options. You can either go ahead and make any changes to it, or you can go ahead and sell it on OpenSea platform, which is what we want to do. So as you guys can see, there are two options for you guys to choose from. Either you can go for a fixed price or you can go for a timed auction. Timed auction is basically when people bid for your NFT. You can actually select the different methods which you want to sell it for. So for example, you can sell it to the highest bidder. You can select the starting price. So let's just say 0.5 Ethereum and you can select the duration of the auction. So in this case, it would be for seven days. You guys also have the option and this is something which I would recommend to you guys to list your NFT for a fixed price. So let's just say 0.5 Ethereum. So what this basically means is that someone can go into your collection and just directly purchase it instead of participating in any auction. Now let's just go ahead and click on complete listing.
and as you guys can see you're brought to this page which shows you the gas fee which you need to pay to list this nft for sale so right now the gas fee is 0.02 ethereum which comes up to 101 dollars this is basically the transaction fee which you have to pay when you're using the ethereum blockchain the purpose of this gas fee is that people don't go ahead and congest the blockchain so in a way it's good but for the purpose of this tutorial as this is a test nft i'll go ahead and click on reject but if you guys want to go ahead and sell your nft using the ethereum blockchain you go ahead and click on confirm perfect so as you guys can see it's that easy to actually go ahead and sell your first nft on the OpenSea platform well i hope you guys found this video useful if you did make sure to smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and comment down below if you have any questions or any topics you would like me to make my future videos on finally subscribe for more such content on personal finance investing and entrepreneurship until then take care and i'll see you in the next one